Hello, I'm Fred Biggers. I'm the uh, <clears throat> golf course superintendent, uh, director of golf maintenance operations at Wintergreen Resort. Uh, I'm also the Wintergreen Resort sustainability champion. I help uh, oversee a committee of uh, different resort employees that we uh, have, uh, over the last year, we've tackled the big problem of assessing how big is Wintergreen's carbon footprint and how can we reduce it. Uh, Wintergreen's a big place, 11,000 acres, uh, Blue Ridge Mountain environment. We have valley areas on the golf course here. Uh, we have a, a mountain course. We've got ski slopes. We've got uh, lakes and beaches. And so we've got so many different areas that we have to maintain. We're always interested in how we can, can we do it more efficiently. So one of the things we've done, we've partnered with the National Ski Area Association and have joined their Climate Challenge 2020. And the Climate Challenge if it challenges all the, the dozens and dozens of resorts across America to lower their carbon footprint. So they have a great tool that, that they, they have us uh, to, to participate. We have taken and done an entire energy audit for the entire resort. And out of the energy audit, we've really learned a lot about how we use energy, how much energy we use, and how can we start learning how to reduce it. So it's, it's such a big, uh, it's kind of like eating an elephant. You have to eat it one small piece at a time. We started with uh, recycling. We started recycling resort cardboard. We started reducing the amount of uh, uh, single-use plastics like straws and takeout containers and cups and uh, we've installed uh, water bottle re uh, refilling stations throughout the resort so people can feel use their water bottles and rather than use a single-use plastic container. Uh, we've also uh, gone to using smart thermostats. The resort services folks have been, in, 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 have been installing smart thermostats throughout the resort that are actually connected, digitally connected, to uh, one central location where they can monitor energy use building temperatures when heating and air conditioning systems cut on and go off. So we're, we're making significant strides to using less energy and using less uh, fossil fuels. Uh, the whole idea is to, uh, is to use less uh, energy and power and lower our carbon footprint. Uh, the golf courses are, have joined and partnered with the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program for golf courses. And we, uh, we're standing next to a, an area that we, we stopped maintaining. It's a naturalized grass area. Uh, we've increased those uh, acreages at the golf course, at both courses, from uh, four acres up to 16 acres now. And uh, these areas provide different habitat for different insects and, and wildlife. And, uh, and certainly reduce a lot, a lot of mowing and fertility and spraying. Uh, we, we don't do much to these areas except uh, control problem weeds. Um, we've also have, have inter have started using integrated pest management in our approach to weed control and insect control and fungus control. And we so we're now uh, trying to treat places that we know have problems. We map areas from year to year where we can expect future problems and then treat those areas but then we don't blanket apply anything uh, other than a couple of pre-emergence applications every year. So we we're working diligently to reduce our, our environmental footprint at Wintergreen. On the mountain, we have many different ongoing efforts to save energy and lower our carbon footprint. The most significant energy user by far at Wintergreen in any ski resort is usually the snowmaking operation. The ski area, uses a, a, a large chunk of energy in a, in a short short uh, winter time period. From December through March, uh, lots of energy is used to make snow. And so those are some of the largest gains we could make. Our, our ski uh, maintenance uh, operations and uh, mountain ops, they have been working diligently to install new fan guns throughout the different ski slopes we have you know, they've been adding snow guns every year, and these new fan guns are much more efficient and use less, less energy than conventional snow guns. Uh, they, they have their own compressors, and they don't require any additional uh, air compressor snowmaking uh, energy. 
And so they're the, the way that a lot of ski resorts are kind of lowering their, their electrical usage, which is our biggest chunk of uh, carbon that we, we burn up every year at the resort. Uh, in other areas of the resort, at the tennis center, uh, the tennis uh, bubble was, uh, was completely uh, uh, changed and redone a couple years ago. And last year they installed a new high efficiency LED lighting and that lighting is saving significant kilowatt hours each month and those less those the, the fewer hours that are used are are actually uh, contributing to uh, some savings some significant dollar savings to the tennis area uh, the retail uh, operations at wintergreen are very sustainable they uh, our buyers are buying items that that are that are recycled plastics so a lot of a lot of different you would never guess that coats and, and, and shoes and, and purses and whatnot are made out of recycled plastics and they're all very fashionable and it's, and it's kind of the end thing to purchase these things because the consumer that comes to Wintergreen, you know, we, we are uh, striving to uh, satisfy the, the, the next, the edgy con environmental consumer. Uh, in the food and beverage areas, we've, we've switched over to uh, you know, single-use plastics and, and cups and straws are a thing of the past now. Uh, we've switched to paper and cardboard, paper straws, bamboo, uh, completely compostable uh, eating utensils. Uh, we're trying to, and really they've done a great job and have really throughout the, the food and beverage operation have drastically lowered the, uh, the perception of uh, using plastics. Uh, other areas of the resort, the resort services folks have done a great job with monitoring the, uh, they're able to monitor all the buildings at the resort and, and dictate what time heating and air conditioning systems cut on, cut off, what time thermostats uh, lower down for the evening, uh, fire them back up in the morning when, when customers show back up. And that results in significant savings. And the fact that they can check that on digitally online is really a neat thing and has resulted in some significant savings. The buildings are a lot more efficient than, uh, than I certainly thought they were. And, and part of the way we found this out was we, we did a resort-wide energy audit. And the energy audit was really enlightening. It was a part of the climate challenge process. And because of that, it forced us to look at all areas. You know, the, uh, the tier one area would be electricity. That's our largest expense and largest uh, area of carbon uh, footprint for us. And the second area is, is the tier two, which is gasoline, diesel fuel, propane, uh, refrigerants. And so we've looked at the entire usage of all the different uh, things at the resort. And out of that, we started working on a no idling program. So we're, we're gonna kick that out this year. We're gonna, you're gonna start seeing signage throughout the resort, no idling, and we're gonna try to uh, publicize that to our guests and to our associates so we can create an awareness that we're all in this together.